ladies, this is how it's done. So I'm in the bank, and this man asks for my number. I say, no, because I'm married. And he goes, can you take my card? I said, no. And he goes, why not? I said, well, I have a single sister. If you attach some money on that, I will go ahead and give your card to my sister. What does he do? He had a wad of cash. He attached some bills on that. And I will give his card to my sister. I will not let a man breathe my way without paying me. I don't understand, ladies. Like, no, 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 no. That's how you have to do it. You gotta tell these men what you want. You want me to give my, your card to my sister? I'll do that, but you gotta attach some money on that. So anyways, have a blessed day. Love you guys. She said... I would not let a man breathe my way without attaching some money on that. Sprinkle, sprinkle. What is it about y'all and using for money in 2023? Now, I know it's been tricking. We ain't going to act like niggas ain't been tricking. But now, y'all just being ridiculous. Y'all don't want to go to Cheesecake Factory. Y'all got rules now for first dates. And I already told y'all, mother. I feel as though the woman should pay for the first date. Let me know how you expect to be treated, where you expect to go. Set the standards. Set the bar. Have I told you guys the story about in the first month of me and Dave dating? I was at his apartment and he was going to go get a subway and took my order. And I got a foot long and he came back with a foot long for me and a six inch for himself. Oh, and I that's was like, not okay. you can't do that. That's not okay. It was so dark. I was really upset. What? What is wrong with getting your woman the biggest sandwich? Am I am I lost? Can somebody please explain to me what he did wrong? Now I ain't gonna lie to you. If I go to Subway and I buy a foot long and a six inch, best believe I'm giving my wife the six inch. Because them extra six inches, those is my tra that's my traveling fee. That's my traveling fee. Now I wanna know what he did wrong. Because obviously, he's a gentleman out the situation. He gave you the biggest sandwich. Like me. Bitch, you're going to have to ask for peace. You're going to have to eat yours. And if you're still hungry, ask for peace. And I might... I might find it out the goodness of my heart to give you a piece of my damn sandwich. What'd you say? See me. See my... Yo, this man about 90. Yeah, this old man just asked to see my p***. <laughs> what the f***? I'm too drunk for this. Boy, this is some funny ass Boy, oh my lot. Oh my God. Damn. I ain't, I'm going to be I'm gonna be honest with you, right? I be feeling for these old heads. Because the way I be tearing some pussy up right now, just imagine being 90. And all this young cat just running around this motherfucker. And they ain't checking for your prune looking ass. I know it's, it's a crazy thing to think about, but they ain't checking for you, dog. Right now, we have age where you walk around and it might be a joint look at you like, oh, he cute. When you 90, you know, you ain't cute no more. You expired. The only other sensible pussy for you to get is some, <laughs> some expired pussy, too. Little other 90 year old. Y'all in a nursery home. Y'all could probably sneak in the closet and do do something. She gonna pop them dentures out. But even with that, she gonna be looking at your ass. Both of y'all gonna be pruned up. Both of y'all looking like prune juice. I don't get a check, I don't work because I'm multi-millionaire, pay for my life. Give me 120 and I put the rest in savings. So a multi-millionaire change your life? Uh, how did you, you don't change my life. I make that money regardless. What you do? Dance. OF? I dance. You do OF? No, 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 no. no. Okay. Would you do OF? No. As a stripper? No, I could have, but I don't. Why not? Because a multi-millionaire pay for my life. Yeah. But I don't do OF because...
because it takes a long time for like processing and uh, like really identifying yourself. Yeah. So yeah, that's why. Check me out. I could do OF. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Hey, that's what I'm saying. I could do OF, but no, I don't. You want to grab it? All right. All right, chat. Yeah. Shit. Uh, all right, chat. <laughs> all right, chat. Hey. <laughs> hey, all right then, Shawty. What was your name? Sugar. Wait, on TikTok, are you on TikTok? Yeah. Everybody loves sugar. <laughs> I don't get a check. I feel as though these dudes that be interviewing, they know the perfect time to go find these folks. They find them right after the club when they drunk. But at the same time, they have said that when you drunk, you tell the truth. When you drunk, you tell the truth. This brings up something else I've been meaning to talk about. Do y'all notice that damn near everybody has an OnlyFans? I found out today that one of these models that um I've seen on the internet now she's she's gorgeous she is gorgeous she has an OnlyFans now I'm gonna be real though because <laughs> go ahead I ain't subscribing to nobody OnlyFans but I ain't finna snitch all I'm gonna say is it's certain places out here where you can get the leaks and her OnlyFans don't got no naked pictures or nothing like that. It do have her in bathing suits. I don't know if that make it any any better. But another... Wait, you know what? I'll tell you about the OnlyFans that shocked me. I'll tell you about somebody OnlyFans that shocked me, bro. So, in 2017, okay, if you've been following me that long, you know I've been doing my music, me and my boy Bimo, right? And it was this chick that we met. She used to be a bartender, so we met her, and we, you know, um, we hired her to promote our song, okay? And she charged us or whatever. It wasn't free. She charged us, and we used to always go up there, and we used to see her. Bimo used to conversate with her, nothing like that, because my boy is committed. And the beginning of this year, my boy was like, hey, bro, guess who got OnlyFans? I'm like, who? He called her name. I ain't gonna say her name on here, but he called her name. And I seen the leaks. Now, she ain't had no, no play play only fans. This shit was hardcore. This junk was hardcore. I'm talking about Rose, uh, cucumbers, hardcore. I couldn't believe my eyes, dog. It's different. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I, I knew that was dangerous. I knew that thing was dangerous. Um, OnlyFans confirmed it. That that motherfucker. She got what? You are supposed to trust the ones you love, but sometimes they're the most dangerous. This is Melody Feliciano Johnson. She's seen here pouring bleach into her Air Force husband's coffee maker. She seemingly really wants that life insurance money. The husband started noticing his coffee tasting strange, so he began to investigate. Whatever's in there is a lot of it. It was pulled out. That's foul, bro. That's foul. He would eventually hand over all of the evidence, and Melody was arrested for attempted homicide. What I'll tell you is... <sighs> don't let people know the cost of your life. You should keep that to yourself. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but you should keep that to yourself. Um, it's a kid from Chicago who killed his mother just so he can get the life insurance policy. He got the life insurance policy and started living like a rapper. He he was going on, on crazy shopping sprees. 
buying his friends expensive cars, even going out in the street and throwing thousands of dollars in the air. He's he's rotting behind jail right now. Thank Jesus. But this man really killed his mother so he could look famous for a summer. This is why. This is why all this talk about money and I don't let a man breathe my way unless he's paying and all this stuff. All this nonsense, all this mumbo jumbo. If I feel as though you you too attached to money, I stay away from you. If I feel as though you too attached to money, I stay away from you. Even now, I do YouTube, I got a job. I don't let people know how much I make. Because I don't trust y'all. I don't trust them. You can't trust people. Oh, who did you f stop? Who did you f My gosh! No, let me find out it was f***ing Jerry! Stop. Did you f*** Jerry? Did you f*** Jerry? Fuck it, tell me, bitch! Did you f*** Jerry? You're such a f***ing slut! Oh my f***ing god! Oh my god! That one moment just changed his life forever. As a man, ladies, I'm telling you that men only love one time in their life. And after that one time, everybody else don't get that same type of love. And situations like that, like this, situations like this create demons. We have just witnessed the transformation of a demon. He will never be the same. Ladies feel like women are seriously ready for emotionally intelligent men. Kitty, <laughs> Kitty, what do you say? Okay, let's talk about what emotional intelligence comes with before we even get into this conversation, okay? We're talking about you wanting a man who is tolerant, who mm. regulates his emotions, yes. who also knows how to manage your emotions. Mm -hmm. But you're also talking about a man who knows how to navigate his sensitivities and everything else when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. But you have to consider that an emotionally intelligent man is good at cutting people off when he sees that your sensitivities bring too much reactivity. Ooh, when he sees that you cannot regulate your emotions, when he sees that you have a low tolerance, this type of man that you are asking for is a man who will walk you out the door in a heartbeat if he feels like you are disrupting his peace. If he feels like there's any level of disrespect because there's a lot that comes with emotional intelligence. So if you ask him for that, you got to come with the same level of emotional intelligence as well. Okay? That comes with a number of factors. So if you are a woman... Who knows that even though you may be sensitive to certain things like criticism, rejection, because you're not always going to be accepted. Sometimes he's going to bounce back and sometimes he's going to say, I don't agree with your opinion. Sometimes he's going to say, I don't like those thoughts. Sometimes he's going to say, I don't like the way you speak to me. If you're not ready for that, don't be asking for an intelligent man. I ain't going to lie, bro. Women like this. Women like this do it for me. Women like this do it for me, bro. Even though me and my wife be going back and forth, because she, she'll get in my ass like that, too. She'll sit down and, and really get to preaching about something. That's a turn on. That's a turn. That's a turn on. But she's telling the truth. And I'm going to be honest with you, bro. As far as emotional intelligence, I have to work on that. Certain things I feel as though I should be able to handle as a man, I don't think I handle it how a man should handle it. Certain situations I go into emotion first, and that's something I'm working on. To be quite honest, I'll tell y'all the truth. So, my son just started kindergarten, and my grandmother used to tell me this when I was younger. I didn't believe her. When I was younger, I was, I was bad. Now, I ain't gonna say I was horrible because there's horrible and then there was there was me. Okay, I was like in between. The way my son is in kindergarten right now, this man is going 
crazy. Now, they didn't have this when I was in school, but they have it now where the teacher can text you as soon as your child get to acting up. This man started school two weeks ago. Every single day. Every single day. We get a message. Say Kim is not sitting down in class. Say Kim is not doing his work. Today we got a message saying that Say Kim put hands on two of the kids in class. Now he's telling us that they were playing tag. I'm going to be real. I've yelled at him. I've scolded him. I've punished him. When I sit back and look at how I'm handling it, I'm questioning if I'm handling it the right way. Nobody wants to go pick their kids up and have the teacher walk him out and give you give you a speech in front of the other parents. That shit is embarrassing. The few times it happened, I felt as though my response to him was very emotional. And I feel as though as a man, I should be setting an example for my son. So yes, I do feel as though certain things I can handle better instead of going in emotions first. We could sit here and, and bash women, sit here and bash men, what we really need to be paying attention to is how we raising our kids. Because a lot of these people that we look at on the internet and we're judging weren't raised right. What did you just ask me? Which ones look better? Which ones look better, right? I said black. I don't know. This is a pattern. Then why are you asking me that? Because, honey, you, need, you don't try. You don't pay attention. I said black. She said no. I don't know what to do. Am I the only one in this? No. Did you just ask me that? No, you are. No, you are not, my brother. No, you are not. When me and my wife was in college, I used to go spend a night at her dorms and stuff like that. And she used to get ready for school. And she will put an outfit on. Now, she do this now, but this is like... This is when it used to go on a lot. She would put her outfit on and she would ask me, hey, what bag should I go with, babe? Hey, what shoes should I wear, babe? She would give me a choice. I would choose and she'd be like, okay. And she would walk out the door with the other one. Ladies, why do y'all do this? Why ask my opinion if you already know which one you want to choose? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. But now it has changed. Now that we married, it has changed to her asking me about stuff that I have no idea what the hell she's talking about. Hey, babe, which, which makeup uh, color looks more brown? What? Huh? Babe, which makeup color looks as though it, it, uh, it uh, match my skin? What? I don't know. Why are you asking me this? <sighs> Bro, anyway, man. It's the video, y'all. Hey, that really that really brought back some uh, some memories. Y'all see the hoodies, man. Y'all see the new hoodie. So I designed this hoodie. This is a new color. I changed it up a little bit. I know a lot of you guys been asking about the hoodies. And they're coming. But I want to make sure... That the people who I have doing making them are going to do right by y'all. I'm being so honest. I want to make sure that the people that's going to be making them are going to do right by y'all. And low key by me too because it represents me. Okay, so I'm going to give you an example. I got this hoodie and the designs was cool. It looked good. The time that it came, it took five days to come, which is cool. I ordered two more hoodies, actually three. I ordered three more hoodies just to make sure, and they haven't come yet. It has been, it has been approximately 10 days, and they have not come yet, and that's unacceptable. And this is why I'm having a hard time finding a vendor to make my hoodies because 
The last thing I want, bro, is for me to do, to make hoodies and stuff. The last thing I want is for me to start selling merch and then people come out and say, oh, I bought this merch from such, for, I bought this merch from Overdose Labs and it never came. That's how a lot of these YouTubers be getting exposed in these videos. Oh, such and such, um, scammed his followers into buying da 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 da. I'm not going for that shit, bro. And this is why it's taking so long for the hoodies to come out. I'm just being honest. This is why it's taking so long. I want to find somebody that's going to send the hoodies out in a timely manner. Now, I feel as though the the other way to do it, the other way to do it would be for me to actually pre-order the hoodies, have them here, have y'all order them, and then ship them out. That's the best way. That's probably the best way to do it. But at the same time, I'm going to be honest with you. Based on the schedule that I have with my son, my son is going to school. I'm actually thinking of like quitting my job so I could be like a full, full-time parent. Like being volunteering at the school. Like I'll do YouTube and volunteer at the school just so I can keep an eye on my son. I'm actually thinking about being one of those parents. So I don't want to add nothing else on my plate that would take away time from me being a parent to my son. Money is cool. Money is definitely cool. There's nothing wrong with making money, but I would not choose making money over being a parent to my son. So the next best thing would be to find a company that would make the hoodies and ship them out. But I want to make sure that whoever I choose is going to do right by y'all. So we'll see what happens in the future.